Okay, we're going to continue with our book. This is day two of unit 10, and we're going to continue with our book. We've already done all the way through the special right triangles. And now we're going to be doing, if I know an angle and a leg, and I want to find the other leg. So this is going to be the beginning of our trig unit. So we're going to start with the tangent, and the tangent is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So first we have to know what opposite and adjacent is. This is angle A right here. And if this is A, opposite is just like what we talked about with other units. Opposite is always the one that's on the far side. Opposite is always the one that's farthest away from whatever we're talking about. So this side here is the opposite. And adjacent, we've used that word before, with adjacent angles, they're the ones right next to it. So this is adjacent. So that's what we're looking for here. So our steps are, number one, label opposite, which I'm just going to abbreviate like that, and adjacent on your picture. Step two, write the formula, which is this one right here. Number three, find tan A. Tangent is a pre abbreviated tan, and if you look on your calculator, it's on your calculator like that. And it's right here on my calculator right there. And step four, solve. I'm going to put a little note on this step we're using our calculator. So here's our example problem. So here's our first one. I know this side and I know this angle right here. So step one, label opposite and adjacent. I go to the angle I'm looking at, the one on the far side from that, that's the opposite. And the one right next to it, that's adjacent. Then I write my formula out. Tan 15 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. The opposite is x over the adjacent is 5. Now you need to find 10 of 15 in your calculator. Your calculator needs to be in degree mode. You should always, when you start working the problems, you should double check the mode and make sure that it's on degrees here. If yours looks like this and it's on radians, you just use your arrow keys to come down to where it says radians and go over to degrees with the arrow key and hit enter so that that one is the one that's dark. Now it's in degree mode, you only have to set it once and once it's set it'll stay there unless someone clears it. So now I'm going to type it in. I hit the tan key, which is right here, here's my tangent key, tan, and then I just type in 15 and it tells me what it is. We're always going to keep three decimal places on this, 0 0.268. Now, this is an algebra problem. This is where we solve. If I have something, a number on the bottom, I need to multiply both sides times that number. It's just an algebra. 5 over 5 cancels, and on this side I'm going to do 5 times this number. Don't type this in again. Just hit times, and it's taken what you had here, and put it here, and then do times 5. That's all you have to do. Remember we started off and we said we're going to always keep two decimal places on our final answer, so this one is 1.34 is our final answer. This side right here is 1.34. All right, now this one, what if I know the opposite side? Here I knew the adjacent, here I know the opposite. Still the same steps. Label opposite and adjacent, just like we did up here on our picture. This is opposite, this is adjacent. Then write the formula. 10, 15 equals opposite over adjacent, 5 over x. 
do tan 15 in your calculator, which happens to be the same thing I have right here, because we deliberately made the same number. So I do tan 56, 0 0.268 equals 5 over x. But this time, I'm not going to multiply by 5, because 5 is on top. This is an algebra problem, so I'm going to have to multiply both sides by x to get the x out of the bottom. And I have 0.268x equals 5. Then how do we solve it? Well, I divide both sides by this number. So what I need to do in my calculator is 5 divided by this. 5 divided by 0.268. And I get that x equals 18.66. So these were problems where I knew an angle and a leg, and I wanted a leg. Now we're going to do problems where I know an angle, and I either know the hypotenuse or I need the hypotenuse. So this page didn't have anything to do with the hypotenuse. This next page is ones where I know the hypotenuse or I need the hypotenuse. So here's our picture at the top. And these are sine and cosine. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Here's my A, my angle I'm looking for. Notice the opposite is the one on the far side, and the adjacent is the one right beside it. The steps are the same thing. Label, opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse on your triangle. Write the correct formula. Then find sine or cosine on your calculator, and finally solve. So, here's my two problems. On these, we do the same step every time. First, label the parts that I have here. This is the opposite. This is the hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse, if I look up here, opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So I've got sine 15 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse, x over 5. Now I'm going to do sine of 15 in my calculator. So I find the sine key, which is right here, sine cosine tangent, sine 15. 2.5, I'm sorry, 2.259, 0.259, x over 5, this is an algebra problem, so I need to multiply times 5, so that this cancels, do that, times 5, the answer is x, point, x equals 1.29, this side is 1.29. Now here's just a little tip. Remember the hypotenuse has to be the longest side, so this side should still be longer than that one. Five is bigger than this, so that's okay. Now let's do the next one. Label the parts. This one beside it is the adjacent. This one is the hypotenuse. Write the correct formula. Adjacent and hypotenuse, that's cosine. Cosine 15 degrees equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is x over hypotenuse. When the number's on the bottom, you just multiply times the number. Cosine 15 is 0 0.966. Now I'm going to multiply that times 5 and I get 4.83. Let's just double check, is that smaller than the hypotenuse? It is, so that is pretty good. Now we're going to do some more examples. What if I need the hypotenuse? Well, 
label the sides. This is the opposite. This is the hypotenuse. Look up here for our formula. Opposite and hypotenuse is sine. Sine 15 equals opposite over hypotenuse. In your calculator, do sine of 15, and we get 0 0.259. Another way you can think about working this is you can make the, put this over 1, and you can think about doing this like a cross multiply. This is 5, and this is this times x. So to solve it, I then divide by this number. So that cancels. 5 divided by, then if you remember what I told you before, we can also use second and the negative sign to make it show the last answer I had, which that was this one right here. Hit enter, and we get x equals 19.32. Now that number seems pretty big, but that's the hypotenuse, and remember that's supposed to be the biggest side, so that's okay. And finally, we have one more here. Label the sides. The one right next to it is the adjacent, and this one is the hypotenuse. So come up here, write the right formula. Adjacent and hypotenuse is the cosine is adjacent and hypotenuse. So cosine 15 equals adjacent over hypotenuse, that's 5 over x. Do cosine in your calculator. Cosine 15 is 0 0.966. You can think about cross multiplying like we just said, 5 equals 0.966x, divide, so it just cancels, 5 divided by, it's that same number I have right there, so I'm going to do second answer, and I get x equals 5.18. Again, the hypotenuse should be the longest number, that one is bigger than this number, so we're good.